previous video, we discussed the overview of Astera Report Miner. In this video, we will go through its user interface. So, uh, there are a few terminologies that uh, I'm going to uh, walk you guys through. So uh, the first one is a uh, region or data region. So data region is basically uh, simply the area of your file from which you want to extract your data. We will see it in action in uh, a while. Uh, but there are a few types of that region. Uh, it can be either header region or footer region, uh, which uh, a normal PDF or a normal text files can, can contain. Then we have the main data region, the, the actual area from which you want to extract your uh, information. And then we have uh, a region called as append region, which is basically used when you have some information outside of your main region. So uh, let's just go ahead and uh, look a little bit in depth of these. So uh, first of all, header and footer region. So they are kind of uh, explanatory from their name. So the header region is uh, by default uh, cover covering the uh, top part of your uh, of each of your page. But if you want to specify a per particular area or a particular keyword, then you can do that as well. But uh, by default, it, it is uh, uh, covering the the top part of each page of your file. Similarly, the footer region will cover the bottom uh, of uh, each of the page of your uh, source file. So uh, here is the main uh, region or the data region. So it, it is uh, basically the grayish highlighted area in the file that you can see, which is uh, covering the uh, three line number five, six and seven. So it, it is basically used to uh, capture the information about the account. So it includes account name, account ID, and the contact person. Okay. And it can contain uh, more than uh, one line or uh, whatever required. So uh, as you can see in this uh, uh, image, in this screenshot, uh, we have covered three lines for one uh, region. Okay. And this area is specified by the gray, 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 grayish, it is highlighted by grayish color. Also, uh, we have further uh, two subcategories inside a data region. So uh, these are either single strength data region or collection data region. So uh, a single strength data region is, ki uh, is kind of uh, the region which uh, contains only one record. So for example, uh, if I, as, as you can create multiple uh, hierarchical levels inside your report model. So uh, by creating a child region of a parent, you have to decide either it is going to be a single stance region or a collection region. So if your uh, single parent has multiple childs, then you'll use collection region as your child region. But if your single, uh, if your parent region has uh, a single child, then you'll use single stance region. Okay. Then we have append region. So as I told you, it is used to capture the information which resides outside your main data region. For example, uh, here you can see that I have uh, a main region uh, named as data, the blue node you can see. And then I have two append regions named as group to total and grand total. And uh, they are basically covering uh, information highlighted in the uh, yellow color. You see, so for such information that resides outside your main region, uh, you can uh, create append data regions. Okay. The next term is pattern. So pattern are basically the logic or the rule that you define when you are going to identify your data regions. So these patterns can be alphabets. They, they can be a, a particular keywords. They can be n uh, uh, numbers and uh, we have some wild cards uh, which are basically uh, used to match any alphabet, any numeric value, any alphanumeric value, any blank or non-blank character. There's also an advanced option to use the regular expression as your pattern, uh, but uh, we will discuss it in later uh, module. 
and by the way you define the pattern in the orange line you see uh, on top of your file okay then we have uh, data fields so uh, data field is basically uh, the data point from which you want uh, the the actual value that you want to extract from your data region for example in this image you can see that i have uh, item uh, information and i have item name its quantity its description its item code uh, its price and uh, total well uh, total price so these all uh, columns uh, when translated to the output file uh, they are called the data fields and uh, they they basically rep represent the uh, columns in the out output file and they are highlighted by a bluish color inside the data region then we have a uh, region properties so i'll just go th uh, go over them uh, briefly so for region we have properties like its uh, line count so uh, if i want to cover uh, if i want my region to cover more than one line then i can increase the line count from here then we have a uh, pattern count so for in report miner we basically allow you to write more than one pattern for uh, one particular data region so if uh, your data region is not completely uh, covered with the help of one pattern you can define uh, more than one and uh, we basically allow you to uh, write uh, up to five patterns for a single data region then we have a uh, multi column uh, option so uh, when you have uh, your data separated into two or more vertical columns then you can check on this option to uh, basically partition your file vertically then we have uh, pattern options so in pattern option you can uh, basically uh, decide uh, that is uh, if your pattern is going to be case sensitive or case insensitive then we have option to apply pattern to a particular lines so for example your uh, data region uh, captures more than one line then uh, you can uh, tell report miner that on which uh, number of line you want to apply the pattern then as i told you we can use regular expression as a pattern and also uh, if our keyword that we are using as a pattern is floating which means that it is not on a fixed position so uh, in in one region it is on the, uh, on the left side and on in the next region it is slightly uh, on the right side then i can use uh, i can check on this but button which is the uh, floating pattern checkbox and uh, it doesn't matter what is the position of my keyword okay so here is are the options in the toolbar of a uh, report model so i'll just go briefly over uh, them one by one so first of all uh, if you want to undo or redo any of your action you can do that from here also we provide the basic uh, capability of shortcuts like control z for undo and control y for redo then uh, we have a uh, find uh, button so if you want to uh, find any particular text inside your source file so you can click on that button then we have the uh, button to uh, load report file so uh, if you want to change your source file uh, directly from here you can uh, click on this button and just point to the new file then we have the report options button so uh, it, it contains options like uh, if, uh, if if you want to remove the blank lines or not or if you want to uh, maintain the original layout of the source file or not or not and uh, there are various options for for example uh, if i use an excel file as a source file then uh, in this uh, properties window i can basically select any worksheet if if my file contains multiple of them then we have preview data button so at any point of design time if you want to see how your output looks like you can simply click on this button and you can see the uh, output preview in a separate panel 
then we have a statistics button so if if you want to see the uh, basic statistics like uh, what is the percentage uh, of null values in a particular column or what is the maximum value or minimum value of a particular column then you can click on this button and it will give you a uh, quick statistics of your of all the data that uh, it has captured then we have uh, field markers so uh, if i want to move uh, any particular field inside a data region i can click on those to do that then i have option to uh, auto create field so uh, uh, report miner uh, kind of provide you uh, some uh, automation while, even while you are creating the uh, extraction template so if your data is in any particular um, manner so report miner will try to identify that uh, pattern and uh, automatically uh, tries to capture those data points or data fields then we have region and field properties options so uh, there are some advanced option in field properties for example if uh, if you want to change the data type of your field or if you want to basically change uh, how it uh, how your data field ends so uh, let's say you want to end your data field at the end of the whole line or if you want to end your data field whenever there are uh, two consecutive blanks then you can choose that from the field options similarly we have some options for uh, region properties as well then we have the delete region buttons to basically uh, delete any uh, data region and then we have buttons to increase uh, or decrease the field length of any particular data field uh, also we have a button to adjust the field length uh, automatically and uh, at last we have uh, the style option to basically choose uh, the theme of uh, our ui okay okay so after that we have a uh, a couple of panels inside uh, report model uh, the first one is report browser so the report browser is basically uh, the area where you uh, create your layout and where, where you can see your regions and your data fields uh, forming so it will give you an idea of the structure of uh, what uh, your uh, output structure looks like so here we have some options uh, for instance we have uh, option to add any data region it can either be a single instance data region or a collection data region then we also have uh, option to uh, delete uh, any region here as well and uh, then we have options to basically export data into directly into any file or any database table so we we have three options one for excel one for csv and one for database table so you can simply click on uh, any of uh, those buttons and uh, a wizard screen will pop up and after configuring uh, the export settings you can simply click on ok and uh, your data will be uh, transferred to your output file that was it for the ui in the next video we will start building a report model and learn how to create data regions in report miner